And we are here on uh, January 1st, 2016 in Valhalla in northern Wisconsin. Uh, used to be an old ski hill. And we're going to do a little flying around here. It is uh, kind of trying to snow, so we'll see a flake, a snowflake flying in front of the lens every once in a while. This is a beautiful area. And I believe during the wintertime, uh, there's some cross-country ski trails that you can go on. Uh, there's also four-wheeling around here, and uh, I would bring my four-wheeler up every once in a while and hit the trails. Uh, this is an area that you want to bring a map with and if you're going to do some four-wheeling, so you can keep track of where you are. And kind of coming up here towards the top of the screen, moving towards the center, you can just barely make a make out a lookout tower. And uh, I took my four-wheeler up there a couple times, and the view is just beautiful. Um, I went up there uh, when the leaves were changing once, and uh, let me tell you, it was breathtaking. I also uh, came up here one time with a four-wheeler. I used to uh, just uh, put it in the back of my truck and haul it up here. And I had just pulled in and uh, was getting ready to unload the four-wheeler when uh, out in front of me a huge wolf went walking by the front of the truck. Uh, it was probably about uh, maybe 20 yards away. Uh, but there was a clearing and it uh, walked across a clearing and uh, walked in front of the truck. Uh, I had a video camera with me, but by the time I got the video camera out and ready to roll, uh, the wolf had already gone into the woods. So you never know what you're going to see when you're up here. Um, I've also been four-wheeling, uh, not in this area, uh, but uh, came across a bear. Uh, there was a black bear that uh, was walking towards me down the trail. And uh, the bear cut off into the woods, and so I was going kind of slow. And uh, just as I uh, rode by him, uh, he stood up. Uh, he was probably about, uh, oh, I'd say maybe 20 feet away. Boy, I'll tell you, those big round faces uh, when they're standing up. Uh, let me tell you what, I hit the gas and got out of there. So there's a lot of things to see. Beautiful area, just beautiful and peaceful. You know, if you do cross-country skiing, I imagine you strap some skis on in this area here, and and uh, it would be very enjoyable. And actually, right around here, uh, the wind wasn't blowing so hard. We can kind of see by the snowflakes every once in a while in the camera lens. Uh, they're kind of being blown a little to the side, but not uh, not straight crossways. So, but when I was in the park here uh, flying, a uh, guy came in and uh, was kind of curious as to what I was doing. So, I showed him the drone, and uh, uh, he was kind of watching on the tablet as I was flying. Uh, I think he was pretty interested in buying one. Oh, there's a lot of logging roads back there. And they must make up part of the trail system, I imagine. Uh, 
But if you can imagine what this would look like in the fall with the leaves turning, and uh, it is something. If you've never experienced something like that, boy, you need to see it. And even in the wintertime, it's beautiful. Uh, you're driving down the road, uh, especially if the trees uh, have uh, snow in them. They're beautiful. I guess I can't stop saying beautiful when I'm talking about this area. And you don't see any traffic jams up here. So we better start coming down a little bit here. And they have this uh, little parking lot kind of plowed off pretty nice. Now you can start to see a few more snowflakes. And right towards the top in the center there, that's that lookout tower. Now if you're watching a big screen TV, it's a little easier to see. And so now here I'm uh, just kind of hovering and uh, talking to the guy I met there and he's kind of looking at the screen and we're going to do a little bit fly a little bit of flying around. And there we are. So I'll do a little flying around so you can see what it looks like. It's a good thing I didn't fly into a tree. That would have been kind of embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. I guess I must have had to show them what a circle looked like. And you could just see in the uh, right hand corner about the center there's a couple skiers there getting ready to hit the trails. And we might be able to just catch a glance of them here if I turn around just right. Yep, right below there. So in some areas you can get cell phone service on top of some of the hills. I noticed uh, I could get cell phone service. I just checked just to see. I was curious. But most of the area around here you cannot. So let's get this thing in the ground, Valhalla. <laughs> 